Welcome to the Roscars 2020. This is the culmination of our two minute film festival. I have to say I've been blown away by the quality of the work that you've shown over the past few weeks. This was always going to be a challenge. This was people working in isolation, separated from friends. I'd always planned to do a film festival in this town. I, I could never have guessed that it would have been under these circumstances. It's a real testament to your creativity and ingenuity that you've been able to create such high quality films in such testing circumstances. It's really easy to start making a film. The hard thing is finishing it. So in some ways, all of you who managed to submit a film into the festival are already winners. You've already done more than most people around you have done. But of course, that's not how award ceremonies work. So tonight, we're gonna highlight some of the excellent work that's been going on over the past few weeks. All of the films are on the website. You can watch them all at your leisure. But I'm just gonna use tonight to point you towards some moments that I think are worthy of your attention. I'm gonna dive right in with the Rosca for best visual. If you wanna do it, just, just do it. So look, we're gonna kick off tonight with the Rosca for best visual effects. Now, visual effects is not everybody's cup of tea. It requires time and patience and hours spent staring at a computer monitor, making adjustments and refinements. And ultimately, if your work is good, half the people in the room won't even know you've done it. That's the, the ir irony of great special effects work is if it's really good, you shouldn't even know it's there. Now, it was clear from the outset that there was one person who had a keen interest in visual effects. The movie he created was a trailer, and visual effects were absolutely at its heart. So it will come as no surprise that the winner of our first ever Rosca, the Rosca for Best Visual Effects 2020, goes to Thomas Brook. Well done, Thomas. Now, the next category we're gonna look at tonight is for best sound. Sound is an often overlooked area of filmmaking, and it's very common that people pay a lot of t attention to the way they're shooting and the cinematography and the look of everything, and they get back into the edit suite and realize they've slightly neglected the sound, and there's things that you pick up, like wind noise and planes flying over the overhead that can really mess with your audio. But of course, sound design is about much more than that. It encompasses effects work, foley work, and also use of music. And tonight's award for best sound is gonna be awarded on the basis of musical choice. It's a moment of calm reflection in amongst the chaos of lockdown. And so the Rosca for best sound 2020 is awarded to Anastasia Guladani. Take a look. So our next award is for editing. Now editing is really, in some ways, it's the third time you make your film. They talk about making a film three times. The first time you make it is when you come up with your idea, your concept, and then you take it out and you try and shoot the thing, and then inevitably things change because of challenges on set. So that's the second time you make your film. But really the third and final time you make it is where you take that footage and you construct whatever you can from that footage. But often it's quite a long way from your original concept. So editing, I have a real soft spot for. Again, it's the kind of thing that takes a lot of precision, a lot of time, a lot of patience. So it's not for everybody. And there's a lot of good editing happened uh, in this festival. But one piece that really stood out was another trailer. And it's a short piece of work, this. But there was a lot of precision in the use of visuals synced up to the audio. 
So I'm pleased to say that the Rosca for Best Editing this year goes to Chloe Spencer for the first of her two films. Have a look. Chloe. Now the next category is best performance and there are a lot of contenders for this including Nikita's mum who did a great job. However the award tonight is going to go to somebody who has gone above and beyond the normal expectations in terms of performance. So this is somebody who's created a film that explores the various sides of one person's personality, but each side of that personality is played out as another character. I'm really pleased to say that tonight's award for best performance, which is in fact best performance is, goes to Leonie Besic. Morality, you've been spending an awfully long time watching that show. Do you think you could maybe um, talk to someone? I will. I'm going to call Katie after this. One episode, I promise. The same Katie you've been calling every day for the past two months? Yeah. Now our next award is for Best Original Story. This is an award aimed squarely at the dramatists amongst you. And it became clear really early on there were some really strong story ideas coming out of this. But there was one that really struck me early on. And it developed from just a little seed of an idea. And it was such a quirky idea that I wasn't convinced that it would be developed sufficiently or that this particular filmmaker would follow through and make it. The end film is a lovely piece of work, not just because of the, the original idea, but it's beautifully shot, cleverly shot, cleverly cut together. And it tells a really quirky story. So the Rosca for best original story goes to Nikita May. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so basically recently I've had like food gone missing so I think it's like pests. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set like a trap. So I'm going to put a trail of cheese on the floor and I'm going to see back, come back tomorrow and see if the cheese is gone. So our next award is best concept. So this award is celebrating the ideas behind the film. And there were lots of contenders for this. There were lots of really strong concepts, a lot of them based around the challenges of being separated from your family and friends. But there's one that stood out for me, and it was the one documentary that we had submitted this year. I love this film because it's a piece of really generous, warm-hearted filmmaking. And the concept is really simple. But at times like this, where there's lots of complexity flying around, sometimes simplicity is a great way to cut through all that. I'm pleased to say that this year's Rosca for Best Concept goes to Scarlet Knight. Connection is being on the same wavelength and engaging with like-minded people. To me, connection means staying in contact with friends and family all around the world. At this point, I want to pause to make special mention because we had early on in the festival um, something that I wasn't expecting, which was an entry from somebody who doesn't even go to the school. To put that into context, uh, she did go to the school. She was here for year 11 and then went back to Germany. And I think I'm right in saying she'll be rejoining us in September. 
But uh, Mary Melsheimer has submitted a really beautiful, quirky film, which I strongly advise you to take a look at uh, on the website. Our next award is for Best Cinematography. And for this, I'm going to hand you over to the very capable Mr. Kai Hutchinson. Good evening, everybody, and I hope you're enjoying the Roscas. Um, I was tasked with the unenviable job of judging the cinematography category. And I'm going to openly admit, I, I drafted in the lovely Mrs. Hutchinson to give me a hand with it. Um, we were both just blown away by the creativity and the different concepts and the way the students managed to use cinematography to get across their message that they wanted to share with the world. But there can only be one winner. So the Rosca for Best Cinematography goes to for her use of camera to emphasize the many different aspects of her actor's performance in just 30 seconds as well as conveying the concept of a piece through cinematography your winner is chelsea baidu well done chelsea uh, the hutchinson family really enjoyed your film and we thought it was a terrific effort to manage to get across as much as you did in just 30 seconds Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoy your evening. In the sand, and you found a little band. You told me you fell in love with it, hadn't gone as I planned. When you had to bid a two, said you'd never love anew. I wondered if I could hold it and fall in there you go well done chelsea and thank you so much mr hutchinson who knew your house was so palatial so our next award is a really special one this award is the spirit of the festival award so this is highlighting the work of somebody who has really embodied the spirit of what we set out to do and this person has always been an extraordinary supporter of performing arts at Rossell. And his contribution to this film festival has been no exception. He's been keen as mustard. He's been trying new things out, developing as an artist. Um, he submitted two films, has been in constant dialogue about those films, came really close to submitting a third, and I think he would have done had he not lost his camera in a river. This is a young man who lives and breathes performance, and he's a real asset. So the Spirit of the Festival Award goes to James Wood. So we're now down to our final award of this evening. Before I get into that, I just want to say a huge thank you to all those of you who have chosen to take part in this. And also to those of you who have supported those who have chosen to take part in this. The friends and the parents who have been camera people and extras and lead roles. You've been a fantastic support and a lot of this could not have happened without you. But we come now to the Best Picture Award. Now, film is an inherently collaborative medium. And so making a film in lockdown is a real challenge. Ordinarily, you'd have somebody looking after camera, someone look, looking after sound, somebody writing the script, somebody looking after wardrobe. Da, da, da. Look at the credits at the end of a movie. You see how many people are involved in the making of a film. Now, obviously, these films are modest by comparison. But the same issues still arise. But there's one person who's really stood out in this process as having a skill set that covers multiple areas. She's a fantastic writer. She's also a great performer. But through this process, she's also shown real skill on camera and with the editing. It gives me a huge amount of pleasure to announce that the winner of the Rosca for Best Picture 2020 is Leonie Besick. 
and I'm going to show you the whole of her film. Take a look. Uh, Leonie? Oh. Hey, morality. You've been spending an awfully long time watching that show. Do you think you could maybe, um, talk to someone? I will. I'm going to call Katie after this one episode, I promise. The same Katie you've been calling every day for the past two months? Yep. Is there anything wrong with that logic? It's antisocial. How can it be antisocial if I'm talking to her? What if calling her is making her get tired of you and she's only calling you to be polite and she actually hates you? Great, my anxiety. Thanks for joining the party, buddy. No problem. I'm sure she doesn't hate you. Someone's just being a negative Nancy over here. I'm being honest is what I'm doing, creativity. Katie is Leonie's friend. She would never get bored of her. Leonie's gotten bored of her friends before. Who's to say nobody else can do the same? This idiotic bickering is getting us absolutely nowhere. Leonie, your habits are unhealthy. You need to connect with more people and socialise yourself with your classmates. Send me the other okay, emails you saying that, like, well, Leonie is the chief. Everyone else is coming out of this list of potential for it. You need to unleash your creative power and use it for something else. She is not listening. Someone dance again. Sorry, um, what, what were you saying? No, it doesn't matter now. It's a moment. So there you go, fantastic stuff, right? And this brings us to the end of tonight's festival. I just want to say again how, oh, what a joy it's been to just sit back having set this thing in motion and just watch as all these entries have come in, all these little insights into the ideas in your head. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, oh man, I, I, I don't know if I could have done that. The great news is, we're going to do this again next year, so you've got yourself 12 months to start having a go. And on the other hand, if you're sitting there thinking, well, you know, I, I think I could have done better than that, well, bring it. We'll see you next year.